Hi, buddy. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 8.2, Prep, where we're going to convert reactants into products, and products into products, and products into reactants, and reactants into other reactants, and all that fun stuff. So make sure you get out your calculator, and get out your periodic table, and get ready to work the magic. All right. Making tricycles. Let's say there's a formula for making tricycles. Three wheels plus one frame makes one tricycle. Okay. So I mean an infinite number of frames. How many tricycles can I make with nine wheels? And you go, oh, that's easy. It's three tricycles. Three trikes. Okay. Now, if you thought about this more mathematically, you can say, look, nine wheels. And then remember these are like moles or they're like particles. So nine wheels. And I want to get out of wheels and I want to go into tricycles. And the relationship is the balanced equation, right? One tricycle needs three wheels. Wheels cancel. Nine times one divided by three is three tricycles. And that way when the numbers not look at it and go, oh, nine divided by three, it's, we can make sense and do tougher ones. So moles over moles use coefficients, which is what we saw before. So let's add some um, units on the end. So if I have 12.3 grams of KClO3, and that's 12.3 grams of KClO3, how many grams of O2 will be formed? So I like to label this so I know where I'm going. And what am I going to have to go through? What I always go through, moles. So 12 grams of KClO3, times dividing bar, grams of KClO3, and moles of KClO3. Now one goes with moles, and I'm going to make an e equality here. So one goes with moles, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. So in the periodic table, potassium is 39.10, chlorine is 35.45, and three oxygens, each one's 16. Three of them is 48.00. So I'm going to add those together. 39.10 plus 35.45 plus 48 is 122.55. And now I'm out of grams, and I'm in moles of potassium chlorate. Remember, I'm going to grams of oxygen. So I have to get out of moles of KClO3. Now, I cannot go directly into grams of oxygen, because I don't know how many grams of oxygen are in a mole of KClO3. But I can go into moles of oxygen, because I do have a relationship, my coefficients, between moles of KClO3, 2, and moles of oxygen, 3. Now I'm still trying to go to grams of oxygen, and I'm in a unit I still don't like, moles of O2, going to grams of O2. 32 grams in one mole, and do the math. 12.3 divided by 122.55 times 3 divided by 2 times 32, and I get 4.82 grams of oxygen. Ah, yeah, that's it. That's it. So notice how we just add what we learned last podcast into the same stuff that we did last unit. So 2KClO3 plus 2KCl yields 302. So again, I have 4.53 grams of KClO3 react. How many liters of O2? I can do this with liters too. Oh, sure. But I'm still going to go through moles. So 4.53 grams of KClO3 and times dividing bar. I dislike grams of KClO3, and I'm going to go through moles to be able to convert it into something else. One mole is, and we did this molar mass before, just last slide, 122.55, so I go to the periodic table and add it up again. Times dividing bar. I want to get out of moles of KClO3 and go into, well, I want to go into liters of O2, but I can't go into liters right away. First, I have to go into moles of O2. And I need an equivalency here, moles over moles, right? So 3 moles of O2 and 2 moles of KClO3. And oh, I've got to cancel my units. So now I'm in moles of O2, but I want liters of O2. Get rid of moles of O2. Go into liters of O2. One mole, 22.4 liters. Dink. 4.53 divided by 122.55 times 3 divided by 2 times 22.4 equals 1.24 liters O2. Done and done. Now I've got a different one. Calcium carbonate, which by the way is salt, that's stamped salt I guess, um, plus sulfur dioxide, mm, smells like rotten eggs, plus oxygen, <gasps> helps me breathe, makes calcium sulfate, I don't know what that is, and carbon dioxide, you know what that is. So I have 5.67 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of O2. How 
how many liters of carbon dioxide. So here's liters. So that's what I'm looking for. This is where I'm starting. And I know I'm going to be going through moles. 5.67 E23 molecules of O2. I want to get rid of molecules of O2 and go into moles of O2. One mole equals 6.02 E23. Goodbye, molecules. And then get rid of moles of O2. And I'm trying to get into liters of O2. I can't go right into liters of O2. I first must go into moles of, sorry, I want liters of CO2. So I first have to go into moles of CO2. So let's take a look at what we have here. Moles of our moles, I use coefficients. Oxygen's one, carbon dioxide's two. Then moles of CO2 and liters of CO2. One mole is 22.4 liters. And that's the unit that I want. Check, check. And let's check it out. 5.67 second E23 divided by 6.02 second E23 times 2 times 22.4 is 42.2 liters CO2. And that's it. So basically all we got to do is find our mole ratio, insert it in the middle of the last test, and we're cruising. 15.8 grams of silver nitrate is added to excess lithium. Now this excess stuff freaks people out. Excess lithium means you have all that you need. So how many grams of silver will be formed? Ooh, so I'm going to have to write out the reaction. AgNO2 is added to excess lithium. How many grams of silver will be formed? So, so I'm going to get silver, and then, oh, it's a single replacement reaction. Okay. Now I need to balance this because I need a balanced equation for this. The other ones have been balanced for me. One silver, one silver. One lithium, one lithium. One NO2, one NO2. And by the way, lithium nitrate, lithium is plus one because of where it is in the periodic table. And NO2 is nitrite, which is NO2 negative one, which is why I don't have any other subscripts here. Okay. So I'm going to start with 15.8 grams of AgNO2. 15.8. And I'm going to change it into grams of silver. 15.8 grams of AgNO2 times the bar. Grams of AgNO2 into moles of AgNO2. Always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. Silver is 107.9, I think. Uh, I hope so. That's very far away from me. 107.9, I'll go with that. And nitrogen is 14.01. And then two oxygens are 32. So if I add those together, 107.9 plus 14.01 plus 32 is 153.91. 153.91. And I'm in moles of silver nitrate. Well, moles of silver nitrate. And I want to go into grams of silver, so I'm going to have to go into moles of silver. Moles over moles use coefficients. In this case, we're lucky they're both 1, so it's easy to do. Then I want to get out of moles of silver and go into my clearly labeled, wonderfully labeled grams of silver. Little g stands for grams. Little g stands for go to the periodic table, which is 107.9, I hope. And ask my calculator. 15.8 divided by 156.91 times 1 divided by 1 times 107.9. And I have 10.8. 9 grams of silver. There's my answer. <laughs> Review. Always go through moles. Always go through moles. Always go through moles. Always go through moles. Moles over moles uses coefficients. You can change reactants to products. And it takes a lot of ink to make this much fun. Toodles.